Welcome to the science of shopping. Shopping is rarely just about need. It's a complex dance between psychology and commerce. Understanding this dance is key for both shoppers and sellers. By understanding consumer behavior, we unlock the why behind our buying habits. This knowledge empowers us to make informed decisions and navigate the marketplace with greater awareness. Think about the last time you bought something impulsively. What drove that decision? Was it a clever advertisement, a friend's recommendation, or simply a sale you couldn't resist? These seemingly insignificant moments are often dictated by powerful psychological principles. Businesses invest heavily in understanding these principles, crafting strategies that subtly guide our choices. By understanding the psychology of shopping, we level the playing field. We become savvier consumers, less susceptible to manipulation and more confident in our decisions. We start to recognize the invisible strings that influence our choices, allowing us to make purchases aligned with our true needs and values. Now, let's delve into how emotion rules the checkout. Emotions are powerful drivers of consumer behavior. They color our perceptions, shape our preferences, and ultimately influence our purchasing decisions. Whether it's the thrill of a bargain or the comfort of a familiar brand, emotions play a pivotal role in the marketplace. Marketers understand this well, often crafting campaigns designed to evoke specific emotional responses. Think about advertisements that tug at your heartstrings or commercials that make you laugh. These campaigns are not just about entertainment, they're about forging emotional connections with consumers. When we feel good about a brand or product, we're more likely to remember it, recommend it, and ultimately buy it again. Consider the concept of retail therapy. People often turn to shopping when feeling stressed, bored, or unhappy. The act of buying something new, even if it's a small purchase, can trigger the release of dopamine a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. This creates a powerful feedback loop, reinforcing the association between shopping and positive emotions. In our third section, we explore social status keeping up with the digital Joneses. Humans are inherently social creatures. We crave belonging, seek validation, and often look to others for guidance, especially in the digital age. This social influence is a potent force in shaping consumer behavior, driving us to make purchases that align with group norms and aspirations. Social media platforms have amplified this phenomenon. We are constantly bombarded with images and stories of people living seemingly perfect lives, often showcasing their latest purchases and experiences. This creates a powerful sense of social pressure, fueling a desire to keep up with the digital Joneses. Brands leverage this social influence through influencer marketing, user-generated content, and online communities. By showcasing products and services being used and endorsed by others, particularly those we admire or identify with, brands tap into our innate desire for social acceptance and belonging. This reinforces the idea that purchasing certain products can elevate our social standing and enhance our sense of self-worth. Lastly, let's discuss cognitive shortcuts navigating the information overload. We live in an age of information overload. Every day we are bombarded with countless choices, advertisements and product recommendations. To cope with this overwhelming influx of information, our brains rely on cognitive shortcuts, also known as heuristics. These mental shortcuts allow us to make quicker decisions with less mental effort. While generally helpful, these shortcuts can also lead to biased judgments and irrational purchasing decisions. Marketers are well aware of these cognitive biases and often employ tactics that exploit them to their advantage. One such shortcut is the availability heuristic. This bias leads us to overestimate the likelihood of events that are are easily recalled or vividly imagined. For example, if we see multiple news reports about a certain product failing, we might overestimate the likelihood of it happening to us, even if the actual probability is statistically low. Section 5. The Power of Scarcity and Urgency Scarcity and urgency are powerful psychological triggers that drive action. When we believe something is in limited supply or available for a limited time, our perceived value of that item increases. This sense of urgency creates a fear of missing out, or FOMO, pushing us to make impulsive decisions we might later regret. Marketers leverage this principle through limited time offers, flash sales, and countdown timers. 
By creating a sense of scarcity, they tap into our innate desire to acquire things that are perceived as exclusive or hard to come by. This tactic is particularly effective for online retailers, where the digital storefront can be easily manipulated to create an illusion of scarcity. Consider the frenzy surrounding limited edition products, concert tickets, or even Black Friday sales. The perceived scarcity of these items fuels demand, often leading to irrational behavior and inflated prices. By understanding the power of scarcity and urgency, we can become more mindful consumers. Resisting the urge to make impulsive purchases driven by fear or manipulation. Section 6. The Halo Effect, judging products by their cover. First impressions matter. This adage holds true not only for people but also for products and brands. The Halo Effect is a cognitive bias where our overall impression of a person, brand or product influences how we perceive its individual attributes. In the context of consumer behavior, the halo effect means that we often judge the quality, trustworthiness and desirability of a product based on superficial factors such as its packaging, design or brand reputation. For example, a product packaged in a sleek and sophisticated manner might be perceived as being higher quality than a similar product with less appealing packaging. Brand names also benefit from the halo effect. Consumers often associate well-known brands with positive attributes, such as reliability, quality, and social status. This positive association can lead consumers to choose a familiar brand over a lesser-known competitor, even if the competitor's product is objectively better or more affordable. Section 7. Anchoring Bias the price is right even when it's not. The anchoring bias is a cognitive bias that describes our tendency to rely heavily on the first piece of information we receive, the anchor, when making decisions. This initial anchor influences our subsequent judgments, even if it's not relevant or accurate. In pricing, the anchoring bias is often used to influence consumers' perceptions of value. For example, if a retailer lists a product's original price as $100, then offers it on sale for $50, consumers are more likely to perceive that as a good deal even if the product's true market value is closer to $40. This bias also explains why luxury brands often price their products significantly higher than their competitors. By setting a high anchor price, they create a perception of exclusivity and luxury making their products seem more desirable and justifying the premium price tag. Section 8. Confirmation Bias. Seeking validation, not information. We tend to favor information that confirms our existing beliefs and dismiss information that contradicts them. This is known as confirmation bias, and it plays a significant role in shaping our purchasing decisions. When researching a product, we might selectively seek out positive reviews and testimonials that reinforce our initial impressions. Conversely, we might downplay or ignore negative feedback, even if it's credible and relevant. This selective exposure to information reinforces our existing beliefs, making us more confident in our purchasing decisions, even if those decisions are based on incomplete or biased information. Marketers exploit confirmation bias by providing consumers with personalized recommendations and targeted advertising. By showing us products and information aligned with our past behavior and preferences, they create an echo chamber that reinforces our existing biases and encourages us to make repeat purchases. Section 9, Understanding for Empowerment, a win-win for consumers and businesses. Understanding consumer behavior is not about manipulation, it's about empowerment. For consumers, this knowledge unlocks a deeper understanding of their own motivations and desires, enabling them to make more informed and fulfilling purchasing decisions. By recognizing the psychological factors at play, consumers can become more discerning shoppers, less susceptible to persuasive tactics and more confident in their choices. For businesses, understanding consumer behavior is essential for success. By understanding the why behind consumer actions, businesses can develop more effective marketing campaigns, create more desirable products and services, and build stronger, more authentic relationships with their target audiences. Ultimately, decoding consumer behavior is about creating a more transparent and equitable marketplace. When consumers and businesses understand each other better, they can engage in transactions that are mutually beneficial, fostering a more sustainable and fulfilling shopping experience for everyone involved. 
Section 10, decoding the future of consumer behavior. As technology continues to evolve at an unprecedented rate, so too will consumer behavior. The rise of artificial intelligence, virtual reality, augmented reality, and the metaverse will undoubtedly reshape the retail landscape, creating new opportunities and challenges for businesses and consumers alike. Understanding the psychological principles that underpin consumer behavior will be more critical than ever before. By staying ahead of the curve and adapting to emerging trends, businesses can create personalized and engaging shopping experiences that resonate with tech-savvy consumers. The future of consumer behavior is about creating seamless, personalized and technology-driven experiences that cater to individual needs and preferences. By understanding the evolving desires and motivations of consumers, businesses can navigate the ever-changing landscape of the marketplace and thrive in the years to come.